This week, I wanted to get on my high horse about vanity metric. I still have conversations with people in the feed, in the comments, in my direct messages, in emails, on client calls. Vanity metrics are a real problem for us all. And I completely understand why. Please don't think that this is me attacking you directly, but vanity metrics are a big bugbear for me. And yet it's something I struggle with also. So I do completely empathize where we're coming from. What do I mean by vanity metrics? Right, things like number of views, number of comments, number of engagements, click-through rate, all these sorts of things, right? Now, if you're a pure marketer, yes, all those things are valid things to be measuring because you're constantly testing and iterating. As a business owner, you haven't got time to worry about them too much. If you're creating the right content, you should be having the right conversation. And for me, the biggest metric that people need to worry about is after six months of doing something consistently, are we having the right conversations? Are the conversations improving? And is it leading to revenue? In the early starts of that point, you know, when you, when you start posting content out, especially video content, first two, three, four months, you're probably, and I've said this before, you're probably going to get a lot of people who have consumed some of your content, but not enough to know if you're a good fit. And they themselves aren't a good fit. So they come knocking on the door. They think you've got the answers to their problems, but they've actually got the wrong end of the stick in terms of what you do. So to an extent, you need to qualify really hard when you first start putting the content out. The six months, those people who are coming through the door should be a lot warmer. They should be a lot more knowledgeable about what you do and how you do it. You will have come to understand how to create messaging that works, that resonates with people, and you'll have adjusted naturally over six to nine months of creating content. And then it's about, are we getting revenue through the door? So that's really important. For me, vanity metrics are a distraction. We're trained by social media to constantly have to look at our form. We want to get likes. We want to get views. I'm terrible for it. I'm ADHD. Like shiny thing syndrome lights up whenever I see new metrics that we can, we can do, especially if I'm doing well at them. Oh, I pay much more attention to those metrics we're doing well at than the ones I do badly at. Of course, that's natural, right? But get yourself out of the habit of pinning your entire marketing and business thinking around those metrics. I've said before, you know, people ask me, Paul, you, how many views do you get on your videos? Sometimes it's on 200. Do I care? Not really, because when I delve into the demographics of that 200, they are smack bang in the middle of my ideal audience. So it's consultants, it's freelancers, it's founders and CEOs, it's managing directors, all the people that I want to speak to because I can help them share their story through video. They're the people who are viewing my content. And the fact remains, I have never once, not once, had a client land, pay me money and be on contract who has commented engaged, liked anything on any of my videos. Why? There's lots of different reasons. I'll, I'll, the, the main one is because we don't want to be spammed to death. We're sick of getting spammed to death. We see it all the time, people spamming us. And by commenting in a public place, they're just opening the floodgates for people to go, oh, they've got a problem that I can solve. You, know, you try mentioning something to do with SEO or YouTube on LinkedIn and see how quickly you get spammed to death even if you're not asking for help or identifying that you have a challenge. Because people are searching for those words, they'll find you, then they'll comment and you get spammed. Uh, so people don't want to if they have a genuine problem. They want to do their own research, come to their own ideas and understand what makes it, what makes you the best fit or the only fit for them. And that way, vanity metrics aren't really a big help. In the number of followers you have, it can be irrelevant depending on whether they're the right followers. I'm currently removing followers because they're the wrong sorts of people who won't get value from my content. I don't aim at them. I don't plan to aim at them. Therefore, I'm going to remove the connections that I've got. People can follow me if they want, right? And I've got no problem with that. And I used to accept all connection requests. Now I'm going the opposite way. I'm trying to, and, and it hurts my ego, right? I'm trying to remove connections that are outside of my target audience, my target partner audience, and my social circle. And that's the only people that were really keeping on board. So I hope that's useful in terms of understanding what you should be looking at. Keep it real. Keep it simple. There are thousands of metrics out there. You will drown in metrics. And ultimately, all of them lead you in a false direction. 
and you end up creating content to please the metrics, not to target your audience. That's a big mistake. Don't play the algorithm. And remember, LinkedIn isn't a social media platform. It's a LinkedIn is a, is a networking platform, a business networking platform. It's not about social media, all right? And that's why you treat the metrics very differently. Well, that's useful. I'll see you next week on the Content Classroom.